Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, July the 11th, we're off to HQ to Newmarket. The start of the three-day July meeting is really good field. Some interesting group and handicaps to ground. Well, it's good to soft at the time of recording. There's rain forecast on Friday mainly. There was quite a bit earlier in the week on Tuesday. Uh, I'm hoping things will be pretty much perfect. Let's hope they miss the worst of the showers. You want good summer ground for these sort of meetings. You certainly don't want it turning into a slog in the mud, which it can do at Newmarket if they get the odd torrential hour of rain or so. It can change very quickly there, but I'm assuming good, good to soft sort of ground should be no excuses. We start off with our betting expert daily nap. This goes in the three o'clock. It's the bet boost at bet365 handicap a six furlong heritage contest class two three-year-olds only 51 and a half thousand pounds to the winner and i think the philly Woodhay wonder can continue her upwardly mobile curve now tom ward her trainer is an excellent young trainer well worth following it has to be said a little bit quiet not from 16 in the last 14 days but they've been running to form and Woodhay wonder is a really good advert for the yard she's run eight times in her life five wins one place she's been a revelation since going into handicaps six furlongs is her trip she's actually um won all of her handicaps so far over six furlongs starting from a mark of 88 and finally off 93 she's won four times at Newmarket, which is a big plus because this is a tricky track uh, with the undulations and six furlongs what she needs she ran at ascot last time for the first time in her life dropped back to five furlongs in the palace of hollywood house stakes and i thought she ran an absolute screamer showing terrific early pace up the center of the track and just reeled in inside the final hundred yards having gone with real zest Back to six furlongs here. Uh, she's got plenty of pace. I suspect Mark Ann might be a little bit more conservative with her, particularly if there's a bit of cut in the ground, but she remains with upside. She's off a mark of 99 here, but I think she's probably headed for listed and group class sooner rather than later. Our betting expert value angle selection goes in the 335. It's the Princess of Wales' stakes. One mile, four furlong, group two, class one, three-year-olds and upwards, over £70,000 to the winner. A short one here in Hamish, who I do think is underpriced, and I like the claims of Time Lock to bounce back from a lesser effort last time out. Now, Harry Charlton, Time Lock's trainer, is having a really good breakthrough season the first year he's been training in his own name rather than with father roger and time lock is a pretty useful performer 13 career starts three wins encouragingly plenty of form with a bit of cut in the ground it was a really good effort um, back in september at crayon sent over to france winning impressively there under Mikel Barcelona last season returned this year after 195 days off over this course in May, finishing second behind Outbox. Watch that run back. I don't think it was Ryan Moore's finest hour, to be truthful. Holly Doyle stole the race on Outbox from the front, and Time Lock never really landed a blow. Last time out at Epsom, well, I think that was just purely down to the track. Time Lock rolling around on the camber and tailed off behind Luxembourg. A complete chuck out run. A lot of horses do that at Epsom and bounce straight back next time. A repeat of Time Lock's previous effort should be enough to go close here. Freshened up after four. 41 days off the track. Ryan Moore booked for the ride. Bit of cut in the ground, absolutely perfect. And I do think the front of the market here does have a vulnerable look. Best of luck on Thursday, betting experts. And please do remember to like and comment on all of our YouTube videos.